because our God is a very good God.
worshiping idols in their temple. They are the work of man's hand. The word of God is teaching us, is telling us, letting us know that we should not worship any other God. We should not worship idols. We should worship not coming back again. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is the Son of God. He is the King of Kings. He is the King of Glory. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is coming back again. But the Word of God says, do not serve any other idol. Any other man made God. The word of God says that they that made them are like them. Because they that made them cannot save, they that made them cannot see, even though they have eyes, they that made them cannot set people free, cannot, they are bound themselves. They that have idols. They are like the 
Today is a very good day. It's a windy day. It's moving us around. So they that make idols are like that. That's why the word of God says, you must not serve a man-made God. You can't serve man-made God. Because man-made God have no authority, have no power, cannot save, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that can never change, that can never fail. 
God is God. Jesus Christ is Lord, the Son of God. Man, the work of man is failure. Men have failed, men have sinned, men have committed every sort and kind of evil. And then still, some of us are worshipping a God that is made by hand. One of us says, you are the most pitied person when you are worshipping idols. Idols cannot see. I just cannot move. I just cannot walk. Read this psalm again as we conclude. I read Psalm 135 from verse 15 to 18. And it says, The idols of the nation are silver and gold, made by the hand of men. They have mouth, but cannot speak, eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear. Nor is there breath in their mouth. Those who make them will be like them. And so will all who trust in them. Those who make them will be like them. And so will all who trust in them. God bless you. Are you okay? Jesus bless you. Can I give you a little to reach? God bless you. Did you the Bible? Thank you, God bless. Didn't the Bible? I can give you a Bible? Okay. Okay, God bless you. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. Therefore, today, let us come to the Lord. Let us receive Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. And He shall be well with you. And He shall be well with every one of us. And I pray, don't serve other gods. Never be a part of those that serve other gods. Our God is a faithful and a just God. He never fell, he never changed. Therefore, we'll come to the conclusion of this message today. Never serve other gods. Never worship other gods. God that is made with hand, reject it, refuse it. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the acceptable day. Jesus Christ loves us. Jesus Christ cares for us. Our God is a good God. It's an awesome God. And I pray that as you understand this word of God today, that you can only serve one God. then all will be well with you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus lives and reigns. Jesus is alive. He is faithful. And he is just. It's a windy day. As you know, the summer is here. Jesus Christ loves us so much. And today is the day of salvation. Of only one God. His name is called Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That's only one God. That's no true God. Only one God, Jesus. Believe in Jesus, you believe in true God. Reject Jesus, you reject true God.
Today is the day of salvation. And God bless you all. In Jesus' most holy, righteous, perfect name. Amen.